Living the dream. All right, there we go. Obviously, it's just not cooling proper, but that may be the problem. Okie dokie, here we are. I can see the fan running. All right, so we got this big unit back of house, not cooling. 4K, maybe frozen up. Uh oh, I hear it grinding. Ooh, I feel a lot of heat coming off of here. She's going off on high pressure. A lot, a lot of heat. All right, so the coil's not frozen. You can see the uh, part of that coil right there. See? But this fan, given the temperature, I mean, this fan should be running high speed and it's not. Something's up with the pressure sensor. It's, uh, let's see, January, February, we did these in early December. So yeah, yeah, you're a week away. Piece of time. All right. I'm actually gonna open this up for a minute because it's, uh, Eat your heart out. North Georgia, 75, 76 degrees. Um, and what's coming downstairs is worse. So I'm at least gonna give them the fresh air for now. Let's open up the panel, see what we can see. All right, I know this is the case, but I wanna show you. Second stage, high pressure. Across it, we have zero, which means it's closed, which means it's allowing the system to run. Listen for the click. Bang, it's shut off and now we read 25 because you've got 25 to ground there and you've got zero coming back because the high, the high pressure now is open. So second stage is shutting off on high pressure. All right, low pressure, zero, we're good. All right, across the whole circuit. So the safety circuit is open or is closed and then that contactor is going to pop out and you're going to read 25 because we're off on high pressure we need to look at there's an intelligent controller that's supposed to adjust this speed with the pressures and it's clearly malfunctioning because boy i can feel the heat coming off of that thing all right we've got a bad motor master so uh, the motor master controls the speed to that so they've got me my leads right here. I'm going to show you before the before the nonsense of motor masters. We just ran them off of the first stage coolings. So here's how we do it. We have to find our three phases, which if you look at it, you've got blue, yellow, and black. So let's confirm that across all those, 208, 208. 208, that's correct. So, those are the three we use. I really, that sucks because this one's already taken. It's fully occupied, there's no extra spades here. I wish I could have used that one, but I can't because that one's the black leg and so you'll be single phasing your motor. So I gotta see what all these are, see if we can give one of them up. Uh, I think this blue is actually the power running to the motor master, so we may adios that see how she runs so now i'm booting it back up i've got my blue power there Hello. so we are blowing up you got to watch to see that we're phased correctly uh i just got my hair cut so i'm not wearing my hat otherwise we do the hat test but she's blowing up there you go. Gotta love this energy efficiency garbage. Amazing, now the unit will stay running. This will call, cause problems in the winter. Like, I'm going to have to address this in a different capacity. But for now, this is the kitchen. And like I said, these units have no redundancy. This is the, the kitchen. That's the dining room. So this hasn't been cooling all day. And it's 77 degrees down there. Hey, 
hey, look. Now we're actually getting it done. Who to thunk it? All right, I'm gonna go downstairs and look at the output temperature. I've got a, uh, a PM at this location next week. I may bump it forward. This is new. This is a uh, new construction. This is a year old. I think they opened last December. It's February. So, like the motor master's junked out. I've already bypassed the uh, variable speed drive for the blower. Look at this. Look at this. So every time it rains, we're just putting water in this box, which is connected to the inside. We're gonna get this fixed. Was that the hood cleaners? Yeah. freezer that we replaced the what the suction line inside no the liquid line inside pinhole so all right let's go inside and uh get the thermal and see what our output all right on. so we're getting there we were blowing ambient before 78 that's why it's called an air conditioner it's going to take some flips to flip all the air but 